Hello from Calaveras Big Trees State Park. This is arguably California's finest state park for hiking, which I recognize as a bold claim, but in this video, which is part of my Find Your Park series, I'm going to introduce you to why I think so. I'm going to give you some of the history, some of the highlights, and even some of the lowlights of this beautiful park, which contains stunning old-growth redwoods, as well as a pretty rich history that elevates it beyond many state parks, in my opinion. So, hope you enjoy Calaveras Big Trees State Park. The titular big trees in this park are sequoias, some reaching an astonishing 325 feet in height and boasting diameters of up to 33 feet. They have a lineage dating back to the era of dinosaurs and the emergence of birds, mammals, and flowering plants. In fact, some of the trees you'll encounter here are believed to be up to 2,000 years old. Nestled within the mid-elevation level of the majestic Western Sierra Nevada, Calaveras Big Trees State Park is a pristine example of a mixed conifer forest in the Yellow Pine Belt. Here, giant sequoias reign supreme alongside ponderosa pines, sugar pines, incense cedars, and white firs. During the spring, the Pacific dogwood paints the landscape with delicate white blossoms, and if you explore the Lava Bluffs Trail, you'll discover a vibrant tapestry of wildflowers, including leopard lilies, Hartweg's irises, crimson columbines, monkey flowers, harvest brodeas, wild hyacinths, and lupines, all adding their beauty to this natural paradise. Prehistoric Miwok peoples held these sequoias in high esteem and utilized them with great care. Skilled in fishing, trapping, and hunting, the Miwok established seasonal villages along the thriving rivers of the Sierra Nevada foothills. Acorns and other seeds harvested during the fall played a crucial role in their diet, and their way of life was steeped in tradition and social gatherings. You can still find large granite outcroppings and boulders adorned with groups of mortar holes bearing witness to the Miwok's time-honored method of grinding seeds and acorns. Today, around 3,500 Miwok descendants call this area home, preserving their heritage for generations to come. The park's history took a turn in the spring of 1852 when Augustus T. Dowd stumbled upon this extraordinary forest while tracking a wounded grizzly bear. The giant sequoia that captured Dowd's attention marked the beginning of what we now know as the Calaveras North Grove. At first, many dismissed his account as a mere tall tale, but when he led a group of adventurers to the grove, word spread like wildfire. Newspapers picked up the story, attracting scores of curious visitors and enterprising individuals eager to profit from the unsuspecting crowds. The first victim of this rush to exploit the giant sequoia was the Discovery Tree, the very one that had stopped Dowd in his tracks. It took five men an astonishing 22 days to fell this colossal giant. Sections of its bark and a portion of its trunk were shipped to San Francisco for display, and later it embarked on a journey around Cape Horn to New York City, where many skeptics labeled it a hoax. The exhibit eventually closed due to financial woes, and while the tree's artifacts awaited shipment to Paris, tragedy struck when a fire consumed the entire collection. Today, all that remains is the stump of the Discovery Tree, standing as a testament to its once towering presence in the North Grove. The exploitation continued in the North Grove as the magnificent mother of the forest lost nearly 60 tons of its bark to souvenir hunters, stripping it to a height of 116 feet. This precious bark was shipped to the East Coast and overseas for display, and in 1861, the Mammoth Grove Hotel was constructed in the North Grove, operating as a resort until 1943 when it succumbed to a devastating fire. In addition to the North Grove, South Grove, and Lava Bluffs Trail, ambitious hikers can embark on the River Canyon Trail, a strenuous eight mile out and back. The park is also a great spot for hiking, fishing, and picnicking, but do take notice, it has a very active black bear population. The day I arrived, one of the dumpsters had been looted the night before by curious black bears. And there you have it, Calaveras Big Trees State Park. A great place to visit, even if it's raining, Ask me how I know. Uh, fantastic hiking, beautiful scenery, really an icon of California's state park system and a real gem. So if you got value out of this video, please click that thumbs up button below. I've got a whole Find Your Park series. I'll link below in the description. And hey, let's do this again sometime.